Kempsey desolate beneath swirling water in the second tragic flood in the northern New South Wales area this year. Six are drowned, some are still missing. 6,000 are driven from their homes as the River Maclay rises 59 feet on Saturday. It's the town's most tragic disaster in living memory. With splendid cooperation of the RAAF, Cinesound cameraman Ron Horner flew over the stricken area early on Sunday morning in a relief plane. The air is rough, making photography difficult from the low-flying Catalina. That shocking inundation happened yesterday in the space of hours. The water in the main stream rushed down as an irresistible torrent, 30 feet high at 20 knots, sweeping all before it. The amazing thing is that the loss of life was not 10, 20 times greater than it was. Washaways on the main North Coast Railway line will take two years to repair permanently. Bede Whiteman, whose coverage of the recent Maitland flood disaster won him high praise, got into Kempsey by Army Duck at noon on Sunday. Stock losses in this rich dairying district were colossal. 15,000 cattle, it is estimated, were drowned. Beaches at the mouth of the Maclay River are littered with hundreds of rotting carcasses. These are some of the beasts which escaped. And these are few of the thousands that perished. Valuable pedigreed stock were included among the losses. Relief parties carry food to people marooned on temporary islands of higher ground. Police and army men again do a magnificent job. Captain Stook, who rescued scores of people during the Maitland disaster, is in charge of army operations. <laughs> 